Welcome to Leesburg Today's Daily Update for November 11th. I'm Samantha Bartram. Veterans Day services took place today at many locations across the county, including Balls Bluff Cemetery, the George C. Marshall International Center, and Ashburn's Ashby Ponds community. A group of military veterans and area residents started early this morning gathering at the Balls Bluff National Military Cemetery for VFW Post 1177's annual Veterans Day sunrise service. State Senator Mark Herring and Leesburg Mayor Kristen Umstadt placed a memorial wreath in the center of the small Civil War burial ground. Leesburg's annual ceremony featured remarks from Senator Jim Webb and retired Rear Admiral William Cross and paid special attention to the veterans of the Vietnam War. Webb, himself a Vietnam veteran, described the conflict as the misunderstood war. When we think about different wars in America, a lot of people call the Korean War the Forgotten War. I spent a huge part of my adult life uh, trying to assimilate the facts and, and the, the, the truths of the Vietnam War. And I think we could probably call the Vietnam War the misunderstood war. Uh, it's just not taught in any way that uh, people can make sense of it when they're, when they're in school. Uh, there was such uh, bitterness at the end of the war that it's, it's very hard to get the facts out, uh, particularly when it comes to those who serve. And the value of the service that they gave to this country. During the year that I was in Vietnam, in 1969, 12,000 Americans lost their lives. Uh, 1968, the number was higher. But 12,000 Americans is more than twice as many Americans as have lost their lives in Iraq and Afghanistan in the entire time we've been in both places. The ferocity of this war, the conditions on the battlefield, and the job that our people did over there well, has never been fully comprehended uh, by this country. We went 12,000 miles away, put people onto the terrain of a very fine enemy that, by the way, in 1999 admitted it had lost 1.4 million soldiers dead. They did their job. The event concluded with an emotional moment of silence for all veterans and a vow to always remember their sacrifices. The residents of Ashby Ponds, home to 141 Loudoun veterans, held a special memorial ceremony to honor those who have served and are still serving in the U.S. Armed Forces. The residents received a special visit from Belmont Station Elementary School fifth graders who performed the national anthem and a selection of patriotic songs under the direction of music teacher Shauna Quinn. After the performance, students passed out handwritten letters of thanks to the attending veterans and active servicemen and women. Traffic was delayed and detoured in Ashburn this afternoon following a head-on collision at the intersection of Ashburn Village Boulevard and Ashburn Farm Parkway. The crash is under investigation by the Loudoun County Sheriff's Office. Details were not immediately known, but we'll have a follow-up report on our website. Finally, members of the Luckett's Common Ground Church are looking to the public for help with a big project. The 250 Brown Bags Love Project will attempt to fill at least 250 gro grocery bags with non-perishable food items. The bags will then be distributed to around 50 low-income Luckett's area homes just in time for Thanksgiving. Anyone interested in volunteering is invited to attend a packing party scheduled for 9 a.m. Sunday, November 21st, at John Tolbert Elementary School in Leesburg. The day will begin with flag football games for the whole family and moon bounces for the kids, followed by a potluck Thanksgiving style meal and wrapping up with everyone packing the donated food to be delivered that afternoon. All you need to do is register online and bring a dish to, sh to share. In the meantime, donations of food may be dropped off between 9 a.m. and noon this Friday, November 12th, to the Common Ground Church Gathering Place at 691 Potomac Station Drive in Leesburg or between 10 a.m. and 9 p.m. Friday, November 19th to the D'Augustino House located at 506 Sherry Ann Court in Leesburg. For more information or to register for the packing party, email loveproject at ecommonground.org or visit the project website. For more on these and other stories around our community, visit us online at leesburgtoday.com.